The Comfort is equipped with 1,000 hospital beds and 12 operating rooms. When in service, you would have a crew of about 70 civilians and up to 1,200 Navy medical and communications personnel. For quite some time, the Comfort was homeported in Baltimore, Maryland, but a few months ago, homeported here to Norfolk. She's operated for the Navy by the Military Sealift Command. Now, the next couple of ships that we'll see here at the Naval Base are rather impressive ships. I'll start by telling you there are only two classes of ships in the Navy that are equipped with a high-tech computer and radar weapon system known as Aegis. The first class of ship in the Navy to come online with Aegis was the Ticonderoga class Aegis guided missile cruisers. There's one cruiser ahead of us to our right on the south side of here, too. That's cruiser number 72, the USS Bella Gulf. Now, the newest of the two classes of ships in the Navy equipped with Aegis are the early Burt class Aegis guided missile destroyers. We'll see one of those on the north side of Pier 1 and ship number 81, USS Winston Churchill. As we're moving along, if you look at the superstructures of those two ships that I've just mentioned, you'll notice there are angled sides on the superstructures. On the angled sides, there are large gray plates that are shaped almost like stop signs. The plates are painted a little bit lighter shade of gray than the rest of the ship. Those are the phased array radar plates for the Aegis weapon system. There's a terminal for these stationary plates around the superstructure on an Aegis equipped ship. The plates are used to emit a constant pulsing signal that is sent out and received simultaneously and has the ability of tracking over 200 targets all at the same time. The system is so smart and sensitive it can even determine if the target is tracking or friendly or hostile target. Once the system is deemed the target to be hostile, it will automatically select and can fire the appropriate weapon needed to destroy the incoming target. Weapons aboard these ships are quite impressive. On the bow and stern deck of number 72, ahead of us to our right, it's a fully, fully automatic 5-inch deck gun that can fire over 20 rounds per minute and have an effective range of 13 and a half nautical miles. Now, on the newer Arty Burke class destroyers, like number 81 to our right, on her bow is an upgraded 5-inch 62 caliber deck gun. It can fire a conventional round up to 18 nautical miles. Also fires another round called an extended range guided munition which is basically a missile inside of a bullet has an effective range of up to 50 nautical miles. The missiles typically found aboard these ships include the Tomahawk cruise missiles used primarily as a long-range land attack missile, the Harpoon anti-ship missile used for anti-ship warfare and can take out an enemy surface ship well over the horizon. Also on board are standard surface-to-air missiles used to knock down airborne threats. Most of the missiles on board these ships are stored and launched from below the main decks of what is called the Vertical Launch System, otherwise known as VLS for short. There are 122 vertical missile cells below the decks in each Ticonderoga class cruiser, like number 72, ahead of us to our right. There are 96 vertical missile cells below the decks on the newer style Arnie Burke class destroyers, like number 81 to our right. These ships have the ability to launch a missile out of the VLS systems one missile every second and a half as needed. Now the Ticonderoga class cruisers, like 72, the Bella Gulf, docked on the south side of Pier 2. She's 567 feet long. 55 feet wide as a crew of 85. They were expensive ships and cost just under $1 billion apiece. Now, the newer style Arty Burke class destroyers, like number 81, the Winston Churchill, that ship is 509 feet long, 66 feet wide as a crew of 346. Also expensive, but the new ones are very expensive, costing just under $2 billion apiece.